leg 12 of the Moors Millions' next is a four and a half mile event this time and it's a grade three handicap and at the top National Apocalypse for Joshua Sullivan has also got National Madam so the big guns out in this one last year's Grand National winner Southside Kevin Meanhan Fire Lord Leon Van Rensburg Friendly Vantage Darren Thompson The Gentle Blade Leon Van Rensburg Tints in Fire or Padre Hogan Sweet Women David Hooley April Furbit David Robertson Frozen Hope Darren Thompson Chensi Europe Unique Vinnie Gerard Shimon De Fay Padre Hogan Ideal Art, David Hooley, Dinah Wager, David Robertson, Lark River, John Morgan, Captain Mannering, Martin Dillon, Vestonius, Babylon, Daniel French, Windmill Rise, Stu Gray, Sarah Manamu, Matt Cooper, Tiama Vonas, Derek Hinton, Ironical Harold Graham, King of Windsor, Alex Cherry, Optimistic Beach, Stu Gray, Beyond Desire, Derek Hinton, and Cirque, Martin Dillon, 25 of them this time, and away they go. Another good big field, can't be that many. Long distance races this week. And maybe it's because this one is an open ended handicap and it's got all the big guns in it. I'm sure, quite a few of these will be headed to the Leon Van Rensburg Cup at Cheltenham next week. The top weights, anyway. As so they get to the first of 31 fences, and there's a four already, and it's Windmill Rise who's gone. Uh, the windmill didn't rise quite high enough, and. First of Stu Gray's is out of the race as they get to the second. Safely over that. I'm saying the top weights of these will probably be in the level weights Leon Van Rensburg Cup next week. The rest of them will probably be headed off for the Midlands Grand National as they take the third or possibly a cross country race at Cheltenham. Not sure if there's any Moors Millions races next week. There might be. They get over the fourth. I think there probably is actually. What's the Grand National? Is there any? Two weeks away now as well. Cheltenham next week. Already right down towards the end of the season. But it's King of Windsor. And he's got the lead. And Lark River second. And a friendly Vantage third. Tiara Vonas after that one. And Chamon de Fay and Tintin Fire up. King of Windsor, one of the lightweights is in the lead. On Lark River in second. And Tiama Vonas and Friendly Vantage together. And Tints in final. Captain Mannerings after that one. And Frozen Hope and Chemin de Fay. And Cirque on the inside is. I think it's fourth, fourth season. Kevin is a five-year-old, he's a nine-year-old, I think. Well, he's fifth season, there's a four there. Lark River's gone. So Lark River's out of it for John Morgan. As they get to the seventh. They're all safely over, although Sarah Manamu was a little bit untidy. And for the eighth they go. All safely over that one with Sensi Unique, just the back mark of the Grand National winner from last season, the grey south side is towards the back. Surprise to see only one grey in a field of 25. As they get over the ninth, which they're all safer to the other side of. And King of Windsor is setting the pace, leading by about four lengths to Tintin Fire on the inside second. Captain Manor in, in the stripes is third. And the Darren Thompson pair, Frozen Hope and Friendly Vantage, with Tiama Vonas. On the inside for Derek Hinton, tucked in behind that one is Cirque. And there's a little gap to Chamon de Fay and National Madam. One of the ones with their really big weights, the two Joshua Sutherland horses, National Madam and National Apocalypse, both big weights. Going to be top weights in the National in a couple of weeks as well. It'll be better for everybody if they had a couple of bad runs and their weights went down, to be fair. But well, that's not what Joshua Sutherland wants to see as they get over that one. King of Windsor continuing to lead. And all safely over the 11th. King of Windsor in front. Tintin Fire is now clear. Second, Captain Manor in third. Frozen Hope is fourth. Then the Gentle Blade and Tioma Vonas. As they all stream over that one with Distonius Babylon and Optimistic Beach, the back pair. Only a short run to the 13th. And again, all safely to the other side of it. Passing the big screen then there. That's the 
two screens, actually three big screens at Weatherick. Must have won in post, in case we've forgotten where we are twice. And it's King of Windsor is in front. Tints in five on his second, Captain Manor in third, then Frozen Hope four. The Gentle Blade is in five on in friendly vantage six with final seven and Tioma Vonas eight, and then Jean Fay is ninth. Then comes National Madam and Sweet Women and Cirque. National Apocalypse and Beyond Desire, Dino Wager after that. And then Ironical Harold is tucked in the middle of that lot. South side getting a little bit closer. Estonius Babylon is still the back marker. They've still got a long, long way to go. As they take number 14. Uh, there's another four there. It's Sensi Unique gone. So still only lost three out of the 25. They're stiff fences, these at Weatherby. So they've been jumping well. I expect them to do these. Seasoned chasers, four and a half milers, and that get the opportunity to go over hurdles. You don't get hurdles over that distance, so these are out jumping every week. These, and that's why subsequently they're pretty good at it. It's King of Windsor who continues to lead into fence 17. On Captain Mannerin, who's moved through into second, let's take it the back by the Estonius Babylon. Into the ditch, fence 18. Slower jump by Captain Manor in second. With the gentle blade moving considerably closer. And frozen hope and friendly vantage, tints in fire on Tioa Vonas. National Madam is next. Cirque still going the shortest way around on the inside in the maroon jacket with the yellow cap. King of Windsor. Pretty much his own way all the way so far. Most of the field happy to let him stroll along through that's clear. With Frozen Hope second. Captain Manor in his third. And the Gentle Blade as they take the 19th. And we've lost another one. I think it's the second Stu Grey one gone. Uh, optimistic Beach has gone, so a bad luck for Stu in this one. As they get over the 20th. And we lost another one there. Captain Mannerin's gone this time, so been a bad luck for me as well. So well, good race for the commentators this time so far. As King of Windsor leads over the 21st. Or on Frozen Hope in second. Then Tiama Vonas is third. Friendly Vantage is fourth. And then the Gentle Blade Fire Lord is starting to creep a little bit closer as well. Mistake at the back by Ironical Harold as they come up past the screens for the. Last but one time, next time will be the time when it counts. And it's King of Windsor in front. From Frozen Hope second and Gentle Blade third. Tioma Vonas has been up there in the leading group all the way. Still there in fourth, then Friendly Vantage, then Fire Lord. Then Tints in Fire and Ideal Art Shimon de Fay is after that one. National Madam going to try and come round the outside. Cirque is still hanging on to that inside rail. Dino Wager and Sweet Women are starting to creep a bit closer. So too is Sarah Manamu. April Furbet after that one. Just an apocalypse, the top weight. We're in a quiet race in mid division at the moment. They take the 23rd. And we've got a change up top now with Frozen Hope into the lead. And the Gentle Blade and Tioma Vonas as they take that ditch. In comes Friendly Vantage, King of Windsor starting to drop through the field pretty quickly. In ideal art, National Madam is getting closer. Over the 25th they go. And the leading group of four. And Distonius Babylon has gone towards the back as well. As they get over the next south side, the Grand National winner is the latest back marker as the Darren Thompson pair now come through to take it up. Friendly Vantage and Frozen Note. The gentle blade between the two of them as they take the 27th. Then comes Shimon de Fay and April Furbet. Tioma Vonas is after that one. Ironical Harold is another one who's starting to creep into it. Tinsy and Fire on an ideal art as well. But it's Friendly Vantage who's got the lead from on the outside. Shimon de Fay who's come through to throw down a challenge. Then the Gentle Blades on the inside. Ironical Harold looks to be going well in fourth. Frozen Hope is next. Then Tints in fire. April Furbet and Ideal Art trying to run on. So too's National Madam. These three up top. Three in a line. 
friendly vantage in the middle. The gentle blade on the far rail and Shimon de Fay closest to us. Only got four more to take. This is the fourth last, and over it they go. And there's a slightly better jump by Friendly Vantage, who's gone back into the lead. Friendly Vantage from the Gentle Blade, Shimon de Fay, now starting to labour in third as they get over the next. Oh, streaming over it nicely. Cirque's now dropped out of it. But it's the Gentle Blade and Friendly Vantage disputing the lead as they come to the second last. Over it they go. Oh, a mistake by Friendly Vantage. The Gentle Blade now kicked on by a couple of lengths to Shimon de Fay back in third. The highly weighted National Ad Madam is trying to get into it. Over the final fence they go. And it's the Gentle Blade who suddenly shot four clear. And he's not going to be caught now. Racing up towards the line. It's going to be the Gentle Blade who's going to take it for Leon van Rensburg. Friendly Vantage is going to hold on to second. And then April through a bit third, Frozen Hope, National Madam Shimon de Fay, Tints in Florence, Sweet Women, Ideal Art after that. And all the way back to Sarah Manamu was the last one to finish. And looks like Leon van Rensburg has got another live one for the National. It should be going that way, I would think. Possibly via his own race next week. So the Gentle Blade takes it for Leon van Rensburg. Friendly Vantage second for Darren Thompson. April Furbet for David Robertson was third. Frozen Hope for Darren Thompson was fourth. All four of him out of the weights. National Madam was fifth for Joshua Sutherland.